Hola gente linda, bienvenidos a otro gameplay acá en el canal de Daiting. Estamos jugando GTA V modo campaña. Acabamos de robar los planos que necesitaban los planos del arquitecto para Nestor. Y nos vamos a juntar con la banda para continuar con este atraco. Eh, los planos fue muy fácil, una misión muy fácil. Así que digo, no, no la traje porque era robarle la hora lista con un auto ahí. Así que bueno, eh, seguimos adelante, vamos a la oficina. Vamos a ver qué pasa ahora con la misión. Ah. It's cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau, so you can torch the truck and then get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way? With the, uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Bueno, quedó claro que elegir. Eh, yo voy a quedarme con la A, me gustan los bomberos, seguramente tendremos que robar un camión de bomberos eh, Así que esa idea me gusta de ir de vestido de bombero Así que me voy a quedar con la opción A Vamos a ver qué pasa <risa> So you do want a map, ok Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen They'll go in with you as firemen Everything goes to plan, they won't fire a single bullet But you will be running into a burning high rise with them, so consider that Bueno, vamos a elegir la gente que nos va a acompañar He's my go-to guy. I ain't changing that now. Ese tipo me gustaba, tenía 14%, este tiene 7 desde la tajada, pero tiene mucho menos habilidades, ¿no? De disparo de armas y todo, así que me lo voy a quedar igual. Este con 6, este con 7, 7%, y luego se lleva el 14% de la tajada. Creo que este está bien. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Okay. That all look good to you. You are robbing the FIB here. Estamos a punto de robar el FBI, vendría a ser. Acá le dicen fin. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Se está preguntando por Trevor. Supongo que Trevor va a tener que aparecer en algún momento de la historia de vuelta. Ha peleado con Michael, recuerden que están muy peleados. A punto de pasar con la grave, pero son muy amigos al final, ¿eh? Bueno, planes para el arque... planos... planes, planes para el arquitecto. Ya está, está pronta la misión. Ahora vamos a continuar. Supongo que tenemos que robar. Eh, había leído por ahí un, el camión de bomberos. Y bueno, no sé qué, qué otra cosa más tenemos que hacer. Ahí me dice en la misión, prepara, requiere un vehículo de huida. Así que también tenemos que robar un vehículo de huida. Seguramente lo vamos a tener que esconder en algún lado. 
el vehículo, así que bueno, eh, bomberos y camión de vehículo. Para robar el camión de bomberos, eh, primero yo supongo que tenemos que provocar algún incendio en algún lado. Así que bueno, vamos a ver qué pasa. Mientras tanto, si decidimos por el camino robar algún vehículo de huida, vamos a ir a la casa de Michael. Eh, así que pr primero, antes de decidir cualquier cosa, vamos a ir a la casa de Michael y luego... Y luego si sí, eh, definimos si robamos primero el camión de bomberos o si definimos eh, robar eh, el auto de huida. Bueno, vamos. vamos. Vamos para lo de Michael. Vamos a apagar la radio porque si no el copyright me va a matar. Ahí está. Sin copy. Y nos vamos de camino a la casa de Michael. puede usar el título de Michael para el destruir, sí, claro, claramente no se puede eso, ¿verdad? Bueno, llegamos, llegamos a casa, arriba. Está todo tranquilo, ¿eh? Y sí, la familia, extrañamos a la familia, no está Amanda, no están los chicos, recuerda que se fueron todos y me abandonaron, miren la mugre que hay, la soledad, el alcohol y yo, nada más. La triste historia de Michael. En realidad extraña mucho a Amanda, a su mujer, ¿eh? Pero bueno, es lo que hay. Una película antigua, se hizo la noche, se debe haber quedado dormido en el sillón. Vamos a despertar. Ahí está. Hey. El hijo, el hijo, el hijo, el hijo. A ver qué dice. Oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out but all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay but I have some friends who are gay so that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint! Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Bueno, bien. Vamos a ver. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? Vamos a ir a ver a Amanda. El hijo quiere que recupere a su mujer bueno vamos a ver está con, con este que creo que es el del yoga no el tal el so, vamos a ver si podemos happening? recuperar you know, uh, Amanda porque I don't know stuff no bueno, vamos a leer I don't know well what's been happening with you uh thanks it's been it's it's anyone's guess yeah yeah I get it. Pita, eh? You were out of the city. Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows. Perfecto. Okay. Oh, okay. Here they are. Caffeine. Come on. Ahí está el auto de Amanda. 
A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy, please. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy! I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? Well, well, what? Are you ah! 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 I had some really good work there, you dick. There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted... I'm meaning to say to you, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. <sighs> All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. Bueno, que, el, que, como, que liamos ahí, eh? Tracy está en el salón de tatuajes. Madre mía, ¿dónde se está haciendo un tatuaje Tracy? Bueno, hemos recuperado a Amanda. Uf, what? Nos falta Tracy. Tracy's eh? getting another tattoo. No, oh god, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo, that asshole. What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. What's up? She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's first eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Estamos llegando, perfecto. Eh, bueno, con Amanda creo que está todo bien. Vamos a ver, Tracy no creo que esté con este mongólico de la tele que le hace creer. ¿Recuerdan que la base de estrella? Vamos a ver, sala de tatuajes. Vamos a ver. Estoy capable de violencia, pero estoy awesome en el sac. Así que, escucha, baby. Si quieres hacerlo en Vinewood, tienes que hacer lo que se necesita. Even si lo que se necesita es una depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40 year old female demographic so you'll let me on the show if i blow you yes and if you could wear some black lipstick the little guy loves the goth vibe oh whoa, whoa. laszlo <laughs> dude that was entirely out of context bro jim you find the ink slinger sit on him laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done no please whoa whoa, whoa. stay put you lame ass mark uh, sure kid what <laughs> You're not gonna get me up, Prince Albert, are you? So that regulations don't bog down the future. Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Come on, just not the tongue. I need that for my work. Ah, oh, you fucking prick! Jesus! Oh, just when I thought I was bigger than radio. Jesus! Ah! Ow! Oh, ho, oh, oh, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! Oh, my God! Ah. Papa Bear! What's Daddy number two gonna think about this? Ah. Ah. Let's not get him involved. Ah. Ah. Let's do... Uh, just, just to be clear, I'm not paying for this, right? Ah. Please don't tattoo a cock. Ah! ah. Ugh. This is gonna make my man tits look enormous! Ugh. 
Cubic hairs on here, too. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can... Oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh, you over the head with it. Too That's much. Uh, 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 snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one stop shop. You fucking asshole, I'm a celebrity. Uh, oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So... I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's ever a family that needs therapy. My pony. How do I look? That's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. <laughs> Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine patio. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good, not an objective universal good. But like a careful douche. But like a subjective, what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Enough. Okay. I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey. How about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues. We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Qué loco todo, lo que tatuó en el pecho, le tatuó en el pecho al pibe. Ay, lo que le hizo. Bueno, ahora vamos en rumbo al terapeuta. ¿Se acuerdan del terapeuta aquel que al principio, al principio, al principio de las primeras misiones, estuvimos con aquel terapeuta de rulos, aquel grandote, toda la familia, bueno, de vuelta, ¿no? Supuestamente Amanda debería de, de estar ahí, con este señor ya, el terapeuta queda en la, es, creo que es la última casa, acá en esta zona de la playa, recuerda que habíamos entrado la última o la antepenúltima, habíamos entrado este cerca de acá, en el mapa. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, 
I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Take care now. Hey. So you gonna come home with me or what? I guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids. Are bueno, you bueno. Take us home, then? Recuperamos la familia. Volvemos a casa todos juntos. Volvemos con toda la familia a casa. Para arrancar el año 2020 así. You know, there was a moment there. I thought. What? I don't know, like maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do. Bueno, bueno, llegamos a casa. Toda la familia unida de vuelta. Kids, rooms. Genial. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Perfecto. Genial. Me encantó este episodio. El reencuentro de la familia. Superado. Gracias, los quiero, los llevo en el corazón. Dejarme el like, suscribirse y nos vemos en el próximo gameplay de GTA V. Chau, chau. Chau. Ah, esperen, esperen un poco. Eh, ¿Podemos seguir algo más con la misión? Un avance. ¿Con quién seguiremos? ¿Dónde estamos? Ah, oh, mira con quién estamos, nuestro amigo que nos falta borracho. El último empleo otra vez. <risas> Ay, ¿Por qué siempre están calzoncillos? Siempre están historias raras, ¿no? Qué tipo más loco. Así que arrancaremos el capítulo que viene con Trevor. No lo sé, este es un avance, ¿eh? Es un avance. Quizás sea con Trevor. Está re borracho. El último en pie. Como con unos motoqueros, ¿no? Si lo quieres subir a esa lancha, muchacho, no podés nadar. Te vas a ahogar. Está 
arruinado el pibe. Los quiero, déjenme en su like. Chau, 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 chau.